Hey guys, it's Akhtar Khan here from Reaching Excellence. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the three fundamental things that you must have so that you can succeed during this recession. So stay tuned. So guys, look, big question that I'm getting right now from people inside our Reaching Excellence Academy and through social media is, should I be doing deals right now? Now, the answer is an absolute resounding yes on the proviso that you've got the three things that I'm gonna be teaching you in this video. I'm also gonna share with you an example of a deal that I've just done with my business partner where we've closed a land deal with a GDV of six million pounds. I'm also gonna share with you some case studies of clients of mine that have been doing deals and have been very active and busy during this whole lockdown. And of course, I'm gonna teach you the three fundamental things that you need to know so you can survive, thrive and prosper and make the money and have the lifestyle that you want during this whole pandemic, this whole lockdown and also the recession that we're going into, which is gonna be the mother of all recessions, by the way. I initially shot this video and recorded this for my private members in the academy. So let's jump to my laptop right now and go and take a look at that. And I'll see you on the other side. Question I'm getting asked all the time right now is what's gonna to happen to the property market? Should I be doing this strategy, avoid doing that strategy? Should I actually be buying properties right now or should I hold off? Well, the answer is an absolute yes. Yes, you should be buying property deals. Now that might sound nuts to you with everything that's going on, but it actually doesn't matter that things are slowed down and we're heading for the mother of all recessions. Why? because it's an advantage for smart property investors like you and me. There will be the greatest transference of wealth that we've seen in a lifetime. I've still been doing deals during the lockdown and so my students. Now, as long as you've got the right system, the right specialist knowledge, and you buy at the right price, then you'll absolutely smash it out of the park. And in this short video, I'm gonna to explain to you why a recession can be the best opportunity you'll have to succeed and how my students have been doing deals during this pandemic. So let's dive into this, okay? Look, why do we fear recessions? Now, that word recession in and of itself can conjure up, you know, feelings of fear, pain, panic, um, because you know there's, there's downward trends and there's alarming news headlines, there's unemployment bankruptcy. Um, you know, There's all this stuff that's going on right now, which is true, and I don't think we've seen the worst of it, okay? During times of recession, the stock market falls, house prices fall, businesses go bankrupt, people lose their jobs, unemployment goes high, life savings get lost, okay? People have been putting money into pensions and those pensions disappear overnight, okay? It almost looks like no one is winning, or are they? So let me ask you a question. Okay, why is it if recessions are so bad, then why would someone like Warren Buffett, who's the fourth richest man in the world, say that he hopes to see a lot more recessions? How did a company like Groupon, which started during the peak of the 2008 financial crisis, spread to 300 markets and 35 countries within a space of two years? Meanwhile, other businesses were collapsing. How did Primark grow its profits by 10% in the middle of that same recession when other companies were panicking? Look, here's the thing, okay, you need to create opportunity from crisis. While some people see recessions as a time of turmoil, it looks like other people are seeing it as a golden opportunity. I personally see this as an opportunity as a lifetime. Now, here's the thing. If you're wondering, can you profit from a, from a, a recession, then you need to keep watching this video because what I'm about to show you is how recessions have created more millionaires than lottery winners, okay? By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to take advantage of this current recession and the financial tsunami that's on its way. Look, you need to look for the opportunities. Now you're probably thinking, okay, I get it, Actile, I can profit now from a recession, but what actually causes a recession in the, in the first place? And is this a safe thing to be doing? Well, look, there's the thing, you never really know for sure, okay? There's so many factors and variables that contribute to any recession, so it's hard to pinpoint one thing, okay? None of us knew that COVID-19 was gonna come. None of us knew we was gonna have this lockdown, okay? The first rule really is that no one can truly predict the market. Now that might make you feel a bit anxious, but if you're gonna profit from this recession, there's one thing you need to do and that's to not panic because no matter how bad the market looks there's one thing that people like Warren Buffett know for sure and all smart investors know for sure and that is this the market will always bounce back okay you need to write that down you need to tattoo it on the inside of your eyelids you need to make that your mantra okay because here's the thing right when all the fun and games of the economy has gone when it's been in a boom and the inevitable crash happens guess what people do they panic and they start to sell. They start to batten down the hatches. They start playing not to lose, okay? They become afraid, they become fearful. All they do is focus on the, the fear, the panic, and everything that could go wrong, okay? The homes that they own start to decrease in value. Their attitude towards owning property changes, so they start to sell. The stocks they have decrease in value, so they sell. It's like panic selling. 
Okay, look, here's the thing. There's three things that you need. Okay, there's three rules for recession success. The first thing you need to do is to gain specialist property knowledge. Okay, vanilla strategies will only get you so far, but it's in times like this you need to gain specialist property knowledge because that's how you're going to grow your portfolio quicker. You need to understand creative contracts. You need to know how to market for property deals off market. You need to learn how to raise private funds from JV partners and investors and angel investors. Okay, so you can grow your portfolio. You need to learn a system to take all that theoretical knowledge and put it into practice. You can learn all the theory, but if you can't put it into practice, you can't turn it into reality, you're not going to get anywhere. That's where the Code Reaching Excellence system comes in. And the third thing you need to do is you need to find motivated sellers and you need to deal with them ideally direct to vendor. Okay, look. Let's think about this for a second. When the economy is booming, what do people do? Well, they spend their money like crazy. They buy the latest clothes, gadgets, they go on holidays, you know, they get whatever their hearts desire. It just consumes money, consumes time, okay? And that means when, when people are in these like boom times, the credit cards come out, they're flying out their wallets and they're racking up debt like crazy, but it's all good because they forgot about the last recession. They forgot about, you know, when things were bad. Everything is good and that's what their reality is in the moment, okay? The economy is flourishing to them, okay? But here's the thing, when the crash hits, okay, those people panic and they become afraid. So now is the time to sit back, stay calm while everyone else is running around like their hair is on fire. Because whilst everyone else is getting fearful, now is the time to get greedy, as Warren Buffett says, okay? Now's the time to get ready. Now's the time to start preparing. Remember, the markets are always gonna crash. And although you might not know when or how or why, it's always important that you prepare before it happens. I personally don't think we've seen the worst of this recession right now. We've only just entered into it. We haven't hit the bottom of the dip. We haven't seen the casualties. We just haven't seen the aftermath of the tsunami that's coming yet, okay? So the first thing to do is to stop thinking like everyone else. Stop focusing on all the things that could go wrong. You need to start saving and building up your capital, okay? You need to avoid debt as much as possible. You need to build up your credit score. So when that inevitable crash happens, when we bottom out, you need to be the one that's got deep pockets or at least have the resources to educate yourself. You need a healthy credit score so you can take advantage of the low interest rates that are going to come with the recession, okay? Look, you need to invest in your education as well as assets. There's nothing worse than being surrounded by gold, but not having the tools to gather it, okay? Hope you've got that, because the mother of all recessions on its way, and it's now time to make your riches. Look, let's just look at the UK economy right now. You've got companies like Laura Ashley that have gone into administration. Zara is closing 1,200 stores. You've got companies like Chanel, Hermes, and Rolex that have stopped production in their European factories. Nike is getting ready for the set stage two of their layoffs. Airbnb founder said that due to the pandemic, 12 years of effort were destroyed in six weeks. Starbucks has announced the permanent closure of 400 stores. The list is continuing to grow, okay? A few months since, since the pandemic started, it's created huge, huge debt. Many of our friends and family are out of work and unemployed. There's tens of thousands thousands of business that are now out of service and that list is going to grow for many people and many businesses right now is all about survival those people are focusing on not losing they're focusing on not sinking okay those guys are paying not to lose here's the thing Smart investors like you and me, it's time to play to win. If you've decided to be your own boss, if you're, you're decided to grow a portfolio, you decided to become uh, self-employed or have your property business like work for you, you want to work from home during these crazy times, then you need to stay consistent and focused on your goals, okay? You need to dream bigger. Look, remember, you get what you focus on. Those people who are playing not to lose, they're just focusing on everything that can go wrong. The people who are playing to win are focusing on everything that can go right and the opportunities. Focus on playing to win. Look for the opportunities. Now, now is not the time to quit. Now is the time to go all in 100%. Play every hand. Show up when no one else is, okay? Show others that mountains can be moved. Not just for other people, okay? But for you. So at the end of this recession, you can look at yourself honestly and you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I gave it my all. Remember, more millionaires are made during a recession than at any other time. So why is that? Well, look, three reasons, okay? There's death, divorce, and defaults. It's these things that reign supreme during a recession. We're in a society where money is heavily relied upon for keeping the system going, and the collapse of the economy has dramatic consequences. The bigger the crash, the harder the hit. Now, sadly, in a recession, you can expect people to lose jobs, and I think we've got more job losses and more job cuts and more businesses that are going to go under over the next few months. You can expect the people who have still managed to keep their jobs to have a reduced income. Now, that means that people are going to be unable to pay things like mortgages and all the other debts and loans and stuff they've racked up during the sweet times of spending during the economic boom. There becomes a 
rising panic and fear, and everyone starts to panic sell. They sell, 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 they cut back, they play not to lose because they're focusing on all the things that could go wrong. They start selling their stocks, they start selling their houses, they start selling investment properties they might have. They just start selling assets, okay? Now look, most of those people don't think about investing their money or acquiring cash generating assets, but people like you and me have prepared for this. You have prepared for this, right? You see, because behind all that panic and fear and, and, and all the stuff that's going on in the media, there is a gold mine of opportunity. You need to buy from motivated sellers. Remember, the market is always going to bounce back. Now, you've probably heard this before, but the best investment you can make is in yourself. Firstly, invest in yourself and educate yourself, and then go out and buy low and sell high. The more motivated and urgently someone needs to sell their home, the more likely they are to sell that house to you for cheaper or under your terms. What do I mean by that? It means that they're either gonna sell the property discounted or they're gonna be open to doing some kind of creative deal because there's fewer buyers out there, okay? Look, so we already know what the three biggest motivations for people are selling in their home are. Death, divorce, and defaults. That's inevitable, that's on its way, okay? With those things already on the rise during this economic collapse, property just becomes cheaper. Homeowners are becoming desperate to sell their houses, okay? We're starting to see already. This is why me and my team have scaled up our marketing operations to generate more leads and more motivated seller deals. To make matters worse, guess what happens to the amount of people who are willing to buy a house? There are fewer and fewer of them. I mean, look, although people are losing money, okay, they just don't have the finance to buy a house. So what happens to the rental market? It gets stronger. So with all these motivated sellers out there going out there with their cheaper property on the rise, who's gonna come in and take advantage of it all? That's right, you and me. Look guys, Preparation pays. This is why preparation is so key. By now, you should have specialist knowledge and a system to put it all together. Ideally, you will have a good amount of capital saved up and a healthy credit score. If you don't, then don't worry. But what you will need to do is learn how to find angel investors and JV partners so you can do things creatively. There's no shortage of people who've got the cash, but not the specialist knowledge or a methodology to put things into practice. These people are in desperate need of someone like you to JV with, okay? Now here's the thing, right? As you start to acquire properties, you can do various different strategies. You can buy stuff, hold stuff, um, take the, the monthly cash flow from it. You can also buy properties that are discounted heavily. You can add value to them. And also if you buy the right price and you're buying them discounted from the current market value, if prices drop even further, you've factored in a buffer. It doesn't matter as long as you buy the right way, okay? Look, one of the things I did in the last recession was I bought a lot of stock. I held a lot of stock. And when the market bounced back, I sold off some and I kept some, okay? Look, you can make Make, you can make a load of money, you can build generational wealth, and I'm doing it again right now. We're scaling up our operations, we are finding more and more deals, okay, because this is gonna be the greatest opportunity we have. I think we've got a window of time, it's a limited window of time, and you need to capitalize on it. So look guys, one of the things I want you to do is to encourage you to start thinking about becoming recession rich. Now once you've done your deals and you've acquired stuff, it's then time to sit back and wait for things to ride out, okay? Wait for the things to bounce back up because it always does. The market always bounces back and there you have it. That's how you become recession rich, okay? Now one of the things that's really, really important is the preparation stage. Now you can't time the market. You just don't know when the crash is gonna happen, when we're gonna bottom out and when we're gonna come back out of the dip, okay? But generally the market is always growing. So the more time you keep your investments in in the market, the more profits you can see from that. Really, a recession can be a very difficult time for a lot of people. Now, there might be some people who are not gonna be jumping for joy for when we, we bottom out. People like you and I, smart investors will be because that's when we're gonna see the most opportunity, okay? It's gonna happen at some point, so you might as well make something from it, and at the same time, help those distressed vendors at the same time, okay? Look, my journey started out during a recession, okay? I remember being in my flat back in the early 1990s, and look, my 21-year-old landlord inherited 10 grand, he then went and borrowed another 10 grand, raised 20 grand, which was enough money to buy a London flat at auction. He then remortgaged the same flat for about 25 grand, he got all of his money back out of the deal and still made a healthy profit on the monthly rental income. Now you have gotta remember, I was 18 years old back then, this blew me away. I then learned that Andy, my landlord, repeated this process five times and bought five properties with no money left in. He paid his dad back and still had some money in the bank and was getting the rental income. Now look, as you can imagine, right, this was all in the back end of the recession of, of, of the 1992, okay? If I wasn't in that recession, if I didn't see that, I wouldn't have learned that strategy. Look, that then led me to buy more and more properties, but by the time I started buying, we came out of the recession and I was doing things in the vanilla way, which was buying, putting deposits in, waiting for capital growth, refinancing. I was growing, but not growing as quickly as I wanted to, okay? So look, I joined a property mastermind. Now, I went there because I wanted to learn the underground strategies. I wanted to get the specialist knowledge. It got me around people who are doing these creative kinds of deals, who are raising money, who are doing options and EDCs and all that kind of stuff, okay? Now, although I learned all that stuff and I learned all the theory, there was still a 
problem. I wasn't able to put it into practice. I knew what to do, I knew all the theory, I knew exactly, I could tell you how to do it, but I didn't, ha I didn't really have a way of turning all that theory into reality so I could become financially free. Now look, I dropped a lot of money on additional trainings and workshops and yeah, they hyped me up and had me run into the back of the room to go and buy stuff. But the problem with that, with that was it gave me a full sense of achievement. I still didn't get anywhere. There was something missing and I didn't know what it was. And that's when I ended up discovering almost by accident, um, the code reaching excellence. All the things that were holding me back, I worked on, okay? Now I put it all together and by that time I spent 300 grand, 300 grand on my own education and personal development. But at that point I discovered a repeatable system that led me to get constant success and I kept on doing more and more deals as we went forwards, okay? So I went back to my, my mastermind equipped with these new skills, okay? And I was the man on a mission. At the time my, my, my friend's wife passed away and that was a big motivation for me as to succeed, okay? There were 60 people on that mastermind of which nine of them have entered into the best of your best contest. Seven have bought one property, uh, one person have bought two and and then there was this one person who bought nine deals, set up two letting agencies and bought a portfolio of 12 properties. And that person was me. Now, look, here's the thing. I'd found the missing blueprint to success. That's how the code of reaching excellence was developed. Things started to fall into place and I just started to get the results that I wanted, okay? I closed on all those deals and it gave me the financial freedom that I wanted. Now look, the stuff that I'm telling you right now is not just theory. This is the third recession that I've been in, okay? All of this led me to being able to um, retire at the age of 37 years of age, okay? My portfolio generated me a six-figure income. So people ask me how I was I able to do so many deals? Well, part of it was my mindset, part of it was the system I had, but also I became very good at doing direct to vendor marketing. I became notoriously known in the industry for my unorthodox guerrilla marketing strategies. I was the first person to have a fleet of advertising vans to source motivated seller deals. Now this helped me to buy a million pounds worth of property in two months. Other investors soon copied my strategy and then I got featured in your property networking magazine. Look, here's the thing, today I'm still doing deals. This deal was done during the pandemic. This is a picture of a um, two bedroom flip that we did in Sussex. This was a creative deal, it was an assisted sale deal, it was a repossession. I stopped the repossession, did an assisted sale, and there's the numbers on the deal, okay? Look, I'm doing a commercial conversion in London right now. This is one of our own properties. We just decided to split the, the flat upstairs into two units. It's gonna bring us in an additional thousand pounds a month. We've just closed a deal, right, which is a land site that's gonna have if we get the planning where we want it to be, it's about 20 houses. So this is a site that's gonna have a GDV of six million pounds. And look, here's just a couple of case studies of clients of mine that are still doing deals. This is Maura. She's just done a deal where she's converted a house from three to five bedrooms in Croydon. This property brings her in 1,800 pounds a month profit after the mortgage and council tax. It's amazing. These guys are Jazz and Nisha. They've been busy during the pandemic and the lockdown. They've just been doing a um, pictures that you can see here. This is a two bedroom flat refurbishment that they've just done. They've also been doing a six bedroom HMO. So these guys are active. Look, this comes back to the three rules for recession success. These guys have all got specialist property knowledge. They've got a system for implementation, which is they've learned my system of code reaching excellence. And these guys are finding motivated sellers to do creative deals with, okay? Look, the best time to do property is right now. People are asking me, why are we still doing deals during this crazy time? Well, it's because we recognize that even though it's not easy, now is actually the best time to be investing because we're getting really good deals right now and we've seen more and more deals come through the door and it's gonna get even better as we slide deeper into this recession, okay? Look, I just want you to imagine the kind of success and profit that you could realize if you started to have the right specialist knowledge, you started to have a system for implementation and you were able to find direct to vendor motivated seller deals, okay? Look, we all use the reaching excellent system because it helps us to overcome the resistance it helps us to springboard our motivation it helps us to simply put things into practice and really level up our business it's like putting your business on steroids okay now look i guess that the reason that you're here is because that's something you really want in your life you know that property is going to be the right thing to do it's going to give you the lifestyle the, the profits and the returns and the security that you want and look, the reason that you're here is because you're passionate you're committed you're dedicated okay and that's why you're here because you want to level up your life you want to give, give yourself the the financial security and the comfort that you need so you can live life on your terms so guys, there you have it. The three fundamental things that you need so you can thrive and you can survive and you can prosper during a recession. Now look guys, do me a favor. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe and comment below this video. Also, I'm going to ask you to spread the love and share this with anyone who you think can benefit from it. Okay. The other thing you may be wondering is if you're interested in finding out a bit more about the Reaching Excellence Academy, I'll put a link in the description. And one gift I'd like to give to you is the Code Reaching Excellence Blueprint. We'll put a link either in the description or around this video so you can download that. That's a fantastic tool for implementation because it helps you to navigate the roadblocks to entrepreneurship. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. I look forward to speaking to you on the next one. Bye for now.